Did you know that low-carb diets can reduce your appetite, leading to automatic weight loss, or that intermittent fasting can change the function of hormones, cells, and genes? Intriguing, right? Imagine a world where you could shed those stubborn pounds and boost your overall health, all while enjoying a diverse range of foods. Welcome to the world of low-carb diets and intermittent fasting, a dynamic duo that's taking the health and wellness scene by storm. With a low-carb diet, you're essentially flipping the food pyramid on its head, favoring proteins and healthy fats over breads and pastas. Simultaneously, intermittent fasting introduces periods of eating and not eating, giving your body a chance to tap into stored fat for energy. The potential benefits are staggering, weight loss, improved metabolism, and even better brain health. But don't just take our word for it. Numerous studies back up these claims, proving that these methods are more than just fads. So if you're curious about these methods, stick around as we delve into the how-tos of starting a low-carb diet and intermittent fasting. Now you might be wondering, what is this low-carb diet all about? Well, let's dive right in, shall we? A low-carb diet, as the name suggests, is a dietary approach that primarily focuses on reducing your carbohydrate intake. It's like going on a road trip with less luggage in the trunk, making your car, or in this case your body, lighter and more efficient. The science behind it is fairly straightforward. Our bodies typically use carbohydrates as their primary source of energy. However, when we limit these carbs, our bodies switch gears and start burning stored fat instead for fuel. It's like your body's own little recycling program, turning those love handles into a power source. But how does this switch happen? When we consume fewer carbs, our blood sugar levels drop. This, in turn, lowers insulin levels, prompting our bodies to enter a state known as ketosis, where fat is burned for energy. It's like your body is throwing a fat-burning party and ketosis is the VIP guest. Now let's talk about the potential benefits. First off, weight loss. By burning stored fat, a low-carb diet can help you shed those stubborn pounds. Secondly, improved energy levels. With a steady supply of energy from fats, you can say goodbye to those mid-afternoon slumps. And lastly, better blood sugar regulation. By reducing carb intake, you're less likely to experience blood sugar spikes and crashes. And if you're thinking this sounds too good to be true, well it isn't. Numerous studies have shown that low-carb diets can lead to significant weight loss and improved health health markers. It's like finding out your favorite movie has a sequel and it's even better than the original. So, in essence, a low-carb diet is about consuming fewer carbs, burning more fat, and reaping the health benefits that come along with it. It's like giving your body a software update, enhancing performance, and optimizing function. So that's the low-carb diet in a nutshell. Now let's move on to some practical tips for getting started. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more health and diet tips. So, you're ready to start your low-carb journey, but where do you begin? Great question. Transitioning to a low-carb diet can feel like a daunting task, but with a little bit of know-how, it can be as easy as pie. Or should I say, low-carb pie? First things first, let's identify those high-carb foods hiding in your pantry. I'm talking about bread, pasta, sugary cereals, and yes, unfortunately, your beloved potato chips. These are all high in carbohydrates and should be reduced or even eliminated from your diet. Now I know what you're thinking, but what am I supposed to eat instead? Well think lean proteins like chicken or fish, plenty of vegetables, and healthy fats like avocados and nuts. These foods are not only low in carbs but also packed with nutrients that will keep you feeling satisfied and energized throughout the day. But let's not sugarcoat it, making this dietary switch won't be a walk in the park. You might experience what we call carb withdrawal symptoms. This could include cravings, fatigue, or even a bit of grumpiness. But don't worry, this is just your body adjusting to its new fuel source, and these symptoms will pass. You could also run into the challenge of nutrient deficiencies. When you cut out certain foods, you might miss out on essential nutrients. So be sure to incorporate a variety of foods in your diet, and consider a multivitamin to cover all your bases. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a low-carb diet. Start small, maybe by swapping out your morning toast for an avocado, or opting for a salad instead of fries at lunch. Gradually, these small changes will add up to big results. With these tips, you're well on your way to starting a low-carb diet. But what about intermittent fasting? Let's dive into that next. Intermittent fasting, it's not just a fad, it's a scientifically backed approach to eating. But what is it? Simply put, intermittent fasting is about cycling between periods of eating and fasting. It's not so much about the foods you eat, but more about when you eat them. Interesting, right? Now, 
Let's see how this ties in with a low-carb diet. When your body is in a fasted state, it needs to tap into stored energy for fuel. And guess where that stored energy comes from? That's right, your fat cells. So by coupling intermittent fasting with a low-carb diet, you're essentially turning your body into a fat-burning machine. But enough with the science, let's get practical. There are several ways to do intermittent fasting, and it's all about finding what works best for you. One popular method is the 16 eighths method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat within an 8-hour window. Another is the 5-2 method, where for 2 days of the week, you only consume about 500 calories and eat normally for the other 5 days. Or, you could try alternate day fasting, where you fast every other day. Now, let's take a moment to talk about the potential benefits of intermittent fasting. It's like hitting the reset button on your body. Fasting can help improve insulin sensitivity, which is great news if you're trying to control your blood sugar levels. It can also promote fat loss and cellular repair. Plus, it may even boost your brain function and longevity. So, is intermittent fasting a magic bullet? No, but it can be a powerful tool in your health and weight loss arsenal. And hey, who doesn't like the idea of becoming a more efficient, fat-burning machine? Now that you're familiar with intermittent fasting, let's talk about how to combine it with a low-carb diet. Because when done right, these two can be a dynamic duo for your health and wellness goals. Low-carb diet and intermittent fasting, a dynamic duo for your health. But how do you combine them effectively? Well, it's all about timing and being strategic with your meals. To make the most out of the low-carb and intermittent fasting approach, you'll want to align your eating window with the times when you're most active. This way, you'll have the energy you need for your activities, and your body will be primed to use the food you eat for fuel instead of storing it as fat. For instance, if you choose the 16-8 fasting method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat within an 8-hour window, try to schedule your eating window during the time of day when you're most active. Meal planning is also key. Prepare your meals ahead of time to ensure you're getting a good balance of nutrients within your eating window. This could look like two to three low-carb meals spaced evenly across your eating window. Remember, the goal is not to starve yourself, but to make sure you're eating the right foods at the right times. Think lean proteins, healthy fats, and plenty of vegetables. And don't forget to drink lots of water. With these strategies, you can easily combine a low-carb diet and intermittent fasting. Now let's wrap things up with some final tips. All right, we've covered a lot, but before we wrap up, here are some bonus tips for success. Remember essentials. A low-carb diet is all about reducing your carbohydrate intake and ramping up on lean proteins, vegetables, and healthy fats. Pair this with intermittent fasting where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting, and you've got a powerful combo for weight loss and improved metabolism. But let's not forget the golden rules. Stay water is your best friend in this. It not only keeps you feeling full, but also helps your function at its best, especially when you're fasting. Listening to your body is another non-negotiable. If you feel lightheaded or unusually tired, it might be time to reassess. Remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. Tailor your diet and fasting schedule to your body's needs and your lifestyle. And if hit a roadblock, don't hesitate to seek support. Our bodies are complex machines, and sometimes we need a little professional guidance to make sure we're on the right track. Don't shy away from reaching out to a healthcare professional or a dietitian. So there you have it. You're now equipped to start a low-carb diet and intermittent fasting. Remember, take it slow and listen to your body. Good luck on your journey to better health. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. Thanks for watching.